welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. In today's video, I will be going through and organizing our fridge and possibly our freezer. It's just kind of become a disaster. I do already have a few organizing systems in there currently, but it just needs to be gone through and decluttered. Actually, let me show it to you right now. Here is how our fridge is currently looking. It definitely looks like a disaster, but even more, it is just not at all functional. We cannot reach stuff in the back rows, and I really do not know like a third of the stuff that's in here. We may end up organizing this freezer, but we'll just have to see about that. But yeah, it just needs to be completely gone through, reorganized, and decluttered. I'm thinking about going to Marshall's because they seem to have the cheapest like organizing solutions, especially for fridge and like acrylic containers. So let's go there now. Marshalls and I only picked up a few organizing pieces, but I thought I would show them to you anyways So first thing was these lazy Susans and I really wanted to get these is kind of the main reason why I went to Marshalls I did find a really cute acrylic one, but it had like a Side wall sort of thing. I can't really explain it I think it was very practical for using in a fridge because you'd have to reach over it and all that sort of stuff So I thought the one with like really no sides would work best and the pack of two for $7.99 I thought it was a pretty good deal as you can see they kind of show how it's like kind of stacked there yeah I did pick up these the next thing I got was these or this container and this was only $2.99 I really like how practical I think this like curved front is we have this in our pantry as well and it works really well yeah $2.99 I don't think you can beat that price for this sort of container and that's what it looks like. Picked up two of these. And the last piece I got wasn't for the fridge, but I really want to make more like organizing content here on my channel. It seems to do really well and I really enjoy watching those sort of videos and I have a lot of fun filming them as well. So I really want to make more videos of going through our home, organizing and decluttering even more. And I think this will work really well in one of those spaces. And I have bought baskets just like this for like $12.99 before it at Marshall's and this one was only $7.99. So this is a great deal. I love wicker baskets. So I think this will be really nice. So that's all the organizing stuff that I got. I didn't really need a whole lot of organizing pieces because I already have a lot and I mainly just need to come out with a new and better layout rather than buying a whole new organizing stuff. And I definitely want to prove to you guys, you definitely do not need all these containers to have a functional fridge, but this just makes it easier for us to keep it clean and tidy and you definitely could get a lot of these things at Dollar Tree as well but at least at our Marshalls we have some amazing deals so we're really lucky about that so now let's get right into organizing and decluttering our fridge. I will not take everything out of the space that I'm organizing because it tends to be really overwhelming for me but lately and especially on this project I really thought it was necessary to give it a true and thorough deep cleaning and as you can see that was a pretty good decision because it was quite dirty especially in this drawer here grape juice had spilled at one point Although this was quite a large project, especially because I decided to take everything out. So if it's easier for you guys to just do one shelf at a time, by all means do that. I just want you guys to do whatever is best and easiest for you. As I'm sure you guys have been able to tell, I'm using a very high speed because it took me a pretty long while to do all this. Right here, I was just going through the stuff that I needed to throw away. And then I'm going to get on with completely deep cleaning this entire refrigerator. Heal my 
best friend Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends I'll be in fools, drifting to deep space So brave and so stupid, just like the movies I was gonna stay in the fight with you Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it Each and every high, every night with you You and me so clueless We were just broken, shattered Singing along to nothing matters Stray around like nighttime rumors We were in too deep In your worn-out sweaters Thinking we'll be young forever Driving in your mom's old hatchback And we were in too deep to end up going through and reorganizing your fridge think about a new layout like you can totally shift the shelves around like I know we all know that you kind of forget I feel like every once in a while so definitely try to think about maybe changing the way the shelves are arranged and all that sort of stuff because it actually can make a major difference even if you don't have new organizing containers just changing where the shelves are can actually make a big difference so definitely try to be creative with changing things up if this is what your kitchen is looking like while doing all of these decluttering and organizing projects anywhere in your home, please do not feel alone. It's just part of the process. But this is how our fridge ended up turning out like once it was all clean. I was so happy to have a blank slate. But now I'm going to put everything back into it and find a new and better layout. done I kind of look like a disaster right now but I'm very happy with how it turned out although I do not think I'm going to be doing the freezer I might add that into like a clean with me I think that would be fun but I think I've had enough work on myself today so I'm just really happy with the main portion of the fridge now I have to work on kind of tidying up all the leftover stuff that mainly needs to be thrown away but yeah I cannot wait to show you guys the before and afters but hopefully I can give you guys some cleaning motivation as well as I tidy up this area. I bet you think that I should calm down And that I'm overthinking everything about you And that we're good the way we are And now we are very close to the before and afters. Want to keep it nice and clean, not freak out and cause a scene. I try to hold it together, keep it together. Not sure who I really am, just be cute and super bland. I try to hold it together. As you guys can see, this was a major transformation. I'm absolutely obsessed with it now. It's so much more functional. I took out that shelf up there, which just, we never really used it. It was kind of an awkward shape. And then also another shelf over here to fit the Lazy Susan, which I'm in love with. It's just so much more accessible and we can actually reach stuff in the back now. But just figure out what is best for you guys. And in this meet, er, in this 
drawer I have all the meat so hopefully we don't buy nearly as much anymore. I really cannot see nearly as much stock that we had with it all shoved to the back of these shelves before. And then I had these two containers, like I said earlier, in our pantry, and I swapped it for the two new ones that we purchased so it looks really clean and simple and that they match. And then I put the ones that were in here before, and I swapped them with the ones that were in the pantry. Hope that makes sense, but yeah, this is how it turned out. Gonna hold it together. Okay guys, well that will be the end of today's video. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I think it's a lot more functional and will be a lot easier to sustain. I really hope you guys got some organizing motivation. If you did, it would really mean a lot to me if you would hit that thumbs up as well as that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. So baby put the record on, baby put the record